Hi and welcome to my Citroen Relay Van Build series. In this video I am going to be finishing off the seat frame by putting the uh, the, the covers around it and uh, getting it prepared for the cushion. So uh, let me show you what we're doing and let's do it now. Okay, so there's the seat frame. I've, um, uh, you know, we've seen this in a, in a previous uh, video. Uh, so I, I've made a, a side panel for here and a front panel for there. So uh, today I'm going to fit those and get that uh, finished off, ready uh, to accept the cushions and uh, then essentially the seat is complete. So I've got my extra piece of uh, uh, True Merb uh, heating pipe in there, all my True Merb gubbins there, that'll all make sense in a minute. And then outside on the uh, on the bench, well I call it bench laughingly, it's my, it's an old uh, garden table with a glass top would you believe i've been doing this van build for five months banging and hammering and crashing about and the glass is still in one piece i'm most impressed right okay so the uh this is the front panel uh what i've done here is i've already uh fixed uh one of the aluminium uh uh ends on uh you know that profile one there and have an access hatch uh here so what i've done used another one of those evo motion uh clips and some uh, sort of recessed uh, hinges so you just see the edge of them there but then when I open that whoop, uh, that's what the hinges uh, look like there uh, there's the Evo uh, doofer and a little clip there I thought I'm not because this is all uh, you know sort of behind the scenes stuff I thought I'm not going to bust a gut you know cutting out around the tea trim and all that sort of jazz um, the the bracket there is just screwed straight through the tea trim and uh, the hinges are uh, again just screwed straight through the tea trim there with uh, some nice long um, thin number three screws and hey do you know what it's fine that's uh, so that's the front bit and the side bit here uh, over on my uh, workmate again got the uh, the side profile on and what i was doing just now before we started filming is i've just cut the hole here for this uh for this vent to go in so i'm just going to fix that in a second and uh knock the the tea trim in the in the top here and uh got a trumer uh vent, vent to go in uh, in here as well and uh, the reason for this big vent here is of course uh, all the fans and things for the Truma boiler are on the end there uh, and they need some uh, some some supply air to go into that so I needed a big vent at the bottom here to uh, allow some air to get into that for the boiler to uh, work correctly so that's what that's for so what I've done with this hole is uh, again because there was a a, a nice big lip on here uh, I've made that plenty big enough in actual fact um, so there's a bit of play there because uh, just wanted that turkey to fit first time and not make that too tight and then have to trim it and trim it and trim it and trim it we've all been there haven't we and uh, you know because of this nice big lip I didn't need to mess about with that so I can just screw that straight on and uh, jobs a winner winner chicken dinner right let me do that get the hole cut for the uh, Truma vent there and uh, then we'll look at putting this together Right, so what I'm doing to uh, fix this is I've uh, just used my big square here against the aluminium uh, upright on the, the front of the board here just to make sure that's nice and square um, to, to this bit so we've got some nice right angles because you don't want it all sweet and you know, the crap on it. Um, so we've got that uh, lined up and then what I do with the holes is I just use one of these little screwdrivers and this is coming super handy in the van build actually it's just a little mini screwdriver as you can see but it's got a point on the end as opposed to uh, you know to a driver head and for just popping through there and piercing the uh, the, the laminate um, to get the screw started that works out brilliantly in the actual fact and uh, I'm just going to use these uh, little stainless steel screws here they are a fraction long to be honest they're going to poke through just a smidge but uh, because that's going to be on the inside that's not the end of the world there we go on the other three already and um, when I go to a big DIY store I might see if I can get some black screws for that which might look a bit better or some of those black uh, plastic uh, caps for the screws but for now that's um, that's a-okay right 
let me get the whole saw out and we'll fix this uh, um, trim event one. Right, so what I've done here is when I had this offered into position just now, um, I drilled a little pilot hole, which I'm not sure whether you can see that or not there, but there's a little pilot hole there, which was drilled from, from inside coming out to make sure that I missed all of the metal work of the, of the seat frame, which is in behind there. Um, so there's plenty of space there. And now we can drill the hole through from, from this side. The Truma fittings come in two bits. The grey bit um, essentially will go on the, on the underneath, which is what the tube fits into. And then this comes through that way and uh, basically sort of sandwiches the two together. Uh, so don't make the mistake of measuring the holes on the grey bit because that will be uh, very, very wrong. Uh, what you actually need hole-wise is for this bit to, uh, to fit through, uh, which in this case with the standard uh, Trum events is this one, which that just uh, fits in there nicely. And that is a six, uh, no, 38? No, 64. 64. 64 hole saw, which is actually the biggest one I've got in my, uh, my collection, but luckily it's just the right size. So without further ado, let's just crack on with it. And, uh, I can see daylight through the uh, the centre pilot hole now, so I know I'm not too far away. So what I'm going to do now, rather than keep fighting my way through there, is uh, is come from the uh, come from the other side. So let's just uh, stand that up. I've already pocket hole the bottom of this look on the uh, on the inside because it's already been in once to take all the measurements. And let's come through from this side. And then that black Truma grill should uh, just uh, fit in there nicely like so. Right, what I want to do with this is um, I actually still want to get another venting. So I want to get plenty of ventilation for that Truma, uh, Truma boiler. Um, so uh, because this door is pretty well at the front of uh, where the boiler is, um, I'm going to, uh, I've got some of these uh, round vents as well. So I'm going to pop one in the door there as, as, as well, and uh, then that will go through through there like that. So first job first is uh, let's get some tape down so we can uh, mark this uh, this circle in roughly the right place. Oh, blue masking tape as well. Trust me, you will never have too much of this. Um, this uh, in my van build, this is a uh, roll number five, I think now. Uh, but it's good stuff, much better than that white stuff. That's crap. Right, let's make sure we stay plenty away from uh, from the, the catch. Don't want to have trouble with that. I'm not going to mess about lining this up with tape measures and things. I'm just going to do it by eye to the middle of the catch there. So it kind of looks symmetrical, there we go. And then just simply draw around it. Nothing more complicated than that. Hence the masking tape, of course. Okay. Again, this has got a fairly uh, wide lip on it, so I don't need to do go um, too crazy with uh, being, uh, you know, bang close uh, to the line we can come nicely around the outside and know that we're going to be a-okay so let me get a pilot hole through i shall put one on the top as well so i just have to go half and half with the jigsaw Okay. 
I know really I should probably take this out and take the catch off and all the rest of it but uh, to be honest um, I can't really be asked this morning uh, and I think if I just uh, you know don't ram too hard with the jigsaw through there I think I can just glide across the top of all this uh, um, quite successfully so let's give it a go I might be eating those badly chosen words in a minute if I scratch it might I but uh, you know for now let's uh, let's just give it a whirl So I'm coming nicely around the outside of the line there to make sure this uh, bugger fits first time without any hassle. Right now, how to fix this? Because it doesn't have any screw holes. So, okay, so I don't think I'm interested in piling loads of splodging behind there because that's got the potential just to make a right old mess that has. But on the inside here, this protrudes just by about uh, sort of six, uh, six, seven mil there. So what I think I'm going to do is I've got a little box of um, uh, number three 12 uh, mil screws uh, there, which are, which are real little tiddlers, look. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to, hopefully they'll stick into the end of my PZ1 bit for some sense. I'm going to just offer that screw through from the side here, through the plastic, which will hopefully grip it, if I don't, uh, if I don't lose it of course. Actually they've got some special bits in here which might grip the, the screw, stop it falling off. Basically, I'll just put a little screw through look, through the side there, which is just grabbing the side of the wood there, which is stopping that from coming out. I know there will be some out there in internet land that will go, oh, yeah, yeah, you won't be like that, but do you know what? Whatever makes life easy at the end of the day, isn't it? Actually, I think two is going to be enough there. Eh? Right, let's have a look. Yeah, that's gripped all the way around. There's no gaps. Could do with just a little turn there. There we go. And you can't see the screws through the grill from the front. And at the back here, just a couple of little ones there, that's holding that nicely, yeah, lovely. That'll do the job. Okay, so I now got it uh, offered into uh, position. So uh, the vent sits nicely uh, down at the bottom here. That's the hole we made for the old uh, Troom vent there, which will come out into, uh, into, the, into that space. And uh, if I look around on the inside, the reason why I drilled that from the inside out look is that sits nicely in between the two metal uprights of the uh, of the seat frame there. Uh, so that's why we did that. And uh, 
Then the front here, the aluminium end goes all the way down to the floor. And then this bit sits up on top of the, uh, of there. And the uh, door allows me access through into the, the front end of the trumer and the sort of storage space in there. And uh, I've got another corner just on that end. Uh, there isn't a piece of wood in the back there. There's no point to that because no one's going to see that anyway. So it's just really for decorative purposes from the front here. It looks like a, a corner piece. But like I say, we're not going to put anything on that, on that end. And internally, we've got it uh, pocket hole screwed all along the bottom along there. And the same along the bottom of here. We've got it tagged at the top of the back uh, up here. And we're running just inside the uh, the T trim here on uh, on this edge all the way down. Uh, right, so next job is to make all the final trimmer connections and then get this piece of knocking trim on on this front edge here. And, uh, and we're good to go. Right, there we go. Seat frame is pretty well uh, in just waiting for the cushion. So, what I've done, uh, obviously we touched on that before. Trim event there. And I've put another one in uh, around the back here there. And uh, they are connected internally uh, like so. So I've got a, a, a right angle piece, then a T piece which connects straight through onto the, onto the, the, the sort of end cap. And then another piece coming up uh, to the top one there. Uh, and that uh, goes around and connects into the, the top of the Truma boiler that side. The bottom connection that side is the one that goes through underneath the shower to the back of the van. And then at the front here, we've got uh, a tiddly little short one at the top, uh, which is the one coming out there uh, for the main sort of habitable uh, area at the front here. And the, uh, the underneath one, I uh, can't quite see it very well, but it, you know, just there underneath goes underneath the uh, the plinth and comes out comes out there. So there we go. That's ready for the cushions and all complete. So thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time round. Bye for now.